Okay guys, for your measurement, you need your full bust measurement. So let's assume this is two of your boobs. Sorry about my drawing. You need the measurement for the fullest part of your boobs. Mine is 10 inches. Then minus or deduct 3 inches. From whatever you got and that would give me a total of seven for mine this will be the width of my top so measure from the fullest part of your breast that's your nipple down to your under bust and for mine that is four inches this will be the height of my bra cup after I have gotten the width of my top. To begin the project, first of all make a slip knot. Then chain two. Skip one chain, the very first chain. And place three half double crochets in the second. So now I have a total of three half double crochets. This chain one doesn't count as a stitch. And the next, we're going to be doing something similar to a half double crochet decrease. So I'll just call it the decrease stitch because I don't have a name for it. So for row two, chain one. And in the very first stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Now you have two loops on your hook. Then in the next yarn over pull through now you have three hooks on your hook then pull through two loops pull through the remaining two loops okay let's just call this like a double crochet decrease but i'll be calling it a decrease stitch in that same stitch you're going to make three half double crochet and place a stitch marker on the second half double crochet stitch so that is where you're going to be increasing for the next row then place the last half double crochet is going to be my top in the same stitch that you placed your three half double crochets you're going to go in and pull up a loop then in the next this should be your last stitch pull up another loop and make your decrease stitch And that's it for row two. For row three, chain one, turn your work and make a decrease stitch till you get to your stitch marker.
in this very same stitch insert your hook and in the next that's where you have the stitch marker pull up a loop now we have one two three yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the remaining two loops then remove your stitch marker and place three half double crochets in this very stitch remember to insert your stitch marker on the second stitch After making your three half double crochets, go into that same stitch and pull up a loop. In the next, pull up another loop and make your decrease stitch. Then, You should have two decrease stitch, three half double crochet, and two decrease stitch by the other side. For row four, chain one, turn your work and make decrease stitches till you get to your stitch marker. Now that you have to insert your hook in the stitch to make your decrease stitch before you make your three half double crochet. Then make three half double crochet and place a stitch marker in the second remember to always insert your hook into the stitch that you made your half double crochet So yeah, if you notice, with each row that we make, the number of decrease stitches that we have increases by one on both sides. So for the first, that's the second row, we had one decrease stitch, three half double crochets, one decrease stitch. The second, two decrease stitch, three half double crochets, and two decrease stitch. So here, three decrease stitch, three half double crochets, and three decrease stitch. So, we're just going to repeat, make more rows, increasing only in the second stitch of your half double crochets. And in doing that, you're going to increase the number of decrease stitches as well by the side. So, just make more rows until your work measures um like for me i'm going to work mine till mine measures a total of seven inches then i will tell you guys what to do next okay i'm done with mine i did a total of 14 rows and i have a total of 27 stitches by the end of my 14th row and mine measures seven inches and this is how i take the measurement from here i measure from here to the middle and as you can see it measures 3.5 inches 3.5 plus 3.5 gives me a total of seven inches so i'm okay with this for my increases the next step now is to make 
extra rows without increases and that is where the second measurement comes to play that is from your nipple to your underbust measurements you're going to make extra rows without increases till you get um, the height of your measurement from your nipple to your under bust measurement okay mine is four inches so i'll be making four inches for mine i'll make four inches extra for mine for the 15th row chain one turn your work and you're going to make decrease stitches all around your work till you get to the end we're not going to be making extra three half double crochet stitches so that's the difference between those 14 rows and the non-decrease rows that we're about to make now I'm at the half double crochet stitches. Normally, I would increase in this stitch, but I'm just going to place a decrease stitch in it and continue. So I'm almost at the end, and this is where. We're going to do something a bit different and very important if not you're going to be missing one stitch by the end of this row so go in with your hook like normal and make a decrease stitch so normally this is where we would end but for our non decrease rows we'll be making another decrease stitch on the very last stitch and We'll place the second loop into this first chain, this chain one we made in the previous row. This is very important because, like for me, I had a total of 27 here. If you don't place your last decrease stitch in the last stitch and the chain one. That you made in the previous row you're going to have like 26 on this row instead of 27 so let's say you had um 15 for your previous row and you're not making a non-decrease stitch if you don't include the chain one and last stitch to make a decrease stitch you're going to have a total of 14 instead so this is very important and you're going to repeat this start chain one work your decrease stitches and when you get to the end place a decrease stitch and the very last stitch and the chain one that you made from the previous row you're going to repeat that till you get the total height of your nipple to your under bust measurements and for me that is a total of four inches so i'm already at the very last row of my no increase so i just want to show you guys how i make my last stitches on each row again
after you're done chain one and cut so for my bra cup i did a total of 13 rows of increases and a total of 10 rows of no increases and this fits me perfectly this is where i'm going to stop and i'm going to go ahead and make the border for the top so make another cup a similar cup like this so guys for the border you're going to chain a chain long enough to fit around your back to your inner boobs i'll be showing you guys how to do that and for me mine measures a total of 29 inches so i'll chain a chain that measures up to 29 inches I've kind of done this before, so I know that a total of 126 chains is perfect for me. So after you've gotten your desired number of chains, the next step is to chain one extra and make your decrease stitches like normal. I think I should zoom in a bit. So make decrease stitches till you get to the end of the row. I'm now at my very last stitch. And that's it for row one. So chain one, turn your work. So repeat this till you get to the end of the row. I'm at the end of my row two. So for the last stitch, we're just going to do what we did for our non decreased parts of the bra cup that we just made. So set your hook, pull through here. And the chain one of the previous stitch, you're going to insert your hook and pull through. Just go ahead and repeat row 2 till you get to your desired length. Mine is really long, so I'm just trying to put it like this. So guys, I'm already done making the body of my work. I did a total of 12 rows, I think. Okay, I think I did a total of 13 rows, sorry. And I just repeated row 2. So I got to the end and I chained one and cut. So the next step is to attach the bra cups to the body of the top. We'll be attaching the cup and the body with slip stitches. Just place your work together from where the first stitch of your cup begins and where the first stitch of your border begins let me zoom in 
So just go into your hook like this, the very first stitch of your border, like so. Then into the very first stitch of your bra cup, then attach your yarn. And chain one so you're going to be slip stitching into both of the panels till you get to the end one stitch at a time sorry if this is obstructing You can also do this with a darning needle or with a single crochet stitch depending on what works best for you. So repeat this till you get to the end of your bra cup. I'm almost at the end and I'm just going to place my few slip stitches remaining. Sorry, I did that off camera. This is the very last stitch of my bra cup. So chain one and cut. That's it for one bra cup. So just go ahead and attach the second bra cup the same way you made the first. And I will see you guys when I'm done with mine. So I'm done attaching both bra cups, and this is what it looks like the next step is to make borders across so we get to this place and we'll add our straps for our tie top then work single crochet borders till we get to the end that will make our strap for our neckline to begin attach your yarn here This first double crochet, let me zoom in. And chain one, like normal. So the way I'll do it here, into the stress stitch, try as much as possible to place three random single crochets. So this is one for me, sorry about this hair. And I'll place one here and place one here as well. So on the next two distress stitch, I'll be placing three single crochets randomly. So the next two and one one two and one so two when you get in here, you're going to place one single crochet and this is the part where you connect your bra up to the body of your work. So just place single crochet in here and chain, make chains long enough to tie both sides of your top together. For me, I think a chain of 50 or 60 should be enough. After you've gotten your desired amount of chains, slip stitch into the second and slip stitch into each chain till you get to the single crochet that you made. Now 
I want you guys at the end. So guys, I'm almost at the end of my chains. I'm just going to slip stitch into the single crochet that we need. And slip stitch into that same stitch. That's um, stitch we use on joining both parts. And that's all. Then I'm going to go back into placing um, three single crochets in two rows of the stress stitch like we did for the border and I told you place one in one side and two in the nest so repeat this till you get to the very tip of the top now meet you guys okay so i'm at the end and i'm just going to place a single crochet in here then make chains long enough to tie around my neck i think a total of 70 wouldn't be bad So you're just going to do the same thing you did for the other strap when you've gotten your desired number of chains. Slip stitch till you get to your single crochet um, stitch. So once you get to the very last chain, just slip stitch. Slip stitch in here. Then place a single crochet in that very stitch then keep placing single crochets like normal one and two exactly what you did for this side repeat it till you get to the end of your work like till you get to this end so guys i'm at the end and i'm at that stitch i use um that's a slip stitch i use and join in the brack up and the border together so i'm just going to skip this slip stitch and place a single crochet in the very next stitch so all you're doing for this so you get to the other brack up is to just place single crochets in each stitch So just repeat this till you get to this part of the bracket. So I already washed mine till I got to the very last stitch before this. So I'm just gonna skip this single crochet area on um, this slip stitch area and place a single crochet in the next. So we're going to place two in the next stitch. In order not to make this video extremely lengthy, for this part, we're going to repeat what we did for the other bra cup. You work your single crochet stitches, so you get here, you make your straps, then work your single crochet stitches down here. When you get to the slip stitch area, you make your straps for your title and work your single crochet stitches so you get to this end and chain one cut that's all you need to do for this 
other side of the top and i'll meet you guys when i'm done with mine so i'm already done making my border i already have my two um straps made the next step now is to make your heart okay guys this is not going to be a slow tutorial on how to make a hat so the first thing we're going to do is to make a magic ring and this is how i make mine i really don't know how to stitch this but just look at what i'm showing you so this is just kind of like you're making um a slip knot without completely drawing out your yarn you get what i mean um, so the next step now is to chain 3 so just go ahead and make 3 treble crochets yarn over twice and place your hook in yarn over pull through 2 loops sorry that was fast yarn over pull through the remaining 2 loops and yarn over pull through So for the next, you're going to make a total of four double crochet stitches. Now I have three, so I'm just going to make the last one. Then, after making four double crochet stitches, Go ahead and place another treble crochet. Then place four double crochet stitches again inside your magic ring. So the next step is to make three trebles you have two sort of three already made now chain two pull your magic like this as you can see the hat stitch is already kind of forming then slip stitch into this so if you're making your small um hats because the we're gonna make small hats and like a medium hat for the design this is where you would stop you just chain one and cut and that's it but to make the bigger one don't chain after slip stitching just go into the next stitch and place a single crochet so after placing your single crochet go in and make two half double crochets in the next stitch Two in the next place, three and in the next stitch, place two more. In the next three stitches, you'll be placing one half double crochet each in in it. So, place two half double crochets. So, for the next, you're going to place one half double crochet, one double crochet, and one half double crochet in the same stitch. In the next, you place two. We're not going to be mirroring 
what we did earlier and one then make two again sorry and three so i just basically repeating what we did here so on the next you're just going to go ahead and place um two like we did for here then in this space this two chain space place your single crochet and slip stitch into here i don't know if you can see this part chain one i just bring this out and to the back then tie tie both together you can decide to hide your ends but I don't think this is necessary for this because you're going to be sewing it to the work or gumming it to the work depends on what you're doing if you have a fabric glue that will make it work really easy so just cut just tie and cut you can decide to burn your loose ends but i'll just cut in case you want this to stay on for longer, I'd advise you burn actually. But I know myself, I might just get tired of this top and unravel it. So I'm not going to go through all that. But if it was like a client order, I would burn it. Okay, so that's it for our heart tutorial. I'm just going to show you guys how I briefly attach my um, heart to the body of my work. You can do this with a fabric glue if you have a fabric glue and the way you arrange your hat depends on you and how you want it to look like so just play around with it so i'll just be attaching mine here and it's quite simple going with your darning needle like this i'm using my big darning needle i don't know where i kept the small one i don't know how that's gonna turn out so Just watch what I'm doing. I don't know how to explain this. Let's see why I actually needed a smaller than the middle. I'm having issues. Yeah, I actually need a smaller than a needle. Please do this with a smaller than a needle. Just pardon me for this project. I would look for mine after I'm done. See, it came off. <laughs> but let me just teach you how I do it. Ah, uh, I don't think this is gonna work with this. But I'm gonna try. Yeah, so the idea is to just um sew around each of the stitches you don't need to count it just place it on your work and just keep sewing through like this and the next do the same thing and the next do the same thing Okay, guys, I, this is just me giving you an idea of how to attach your hat to the body of your work. I'm going to lose in mine because I don't think this is working for me due to the fact that my needle 
is big so just do this around so you get to this point and tie cut or burn your loose ends depending on how you how long you want this to last i would advise that you not only tie but you um burn it as well 